The reporter is an integrated part of LPAR2RRD, which allows the application and you, the user, to quickly and automatically create reports from monitored technology. A main advantage of the reporter is its ability to compile, centralize, and as much as possible unify data from all attached platforms in a single place. All the data are already stored in LPAR2RRD, and we can work with this data easily and without limits. There are two parts of the reporter. One is historical reports, and the second is reporter itself. Reporter is mainly used for regular reports, which can be scheduled ahead of time. Historical reports is most suited for ad hoc reporting. This can be especially useful in cases of an issue requiring further investigation or as a form of input for other departments. Let's start with historical reports. These are available for selected platforms. In this video, we're going to use historical reports for IBM Power Systems. Just select the time period for which you would like to have a report. The chart size chosen affects the quantity of detail which will eventually appear in the chart as presented. The larger the graph, the more detailed the data shown. The content of the data affects the metrics we choose during selection. The available metrics vary depending upon the selected technology. Once all metrics and parameters have been set, we can begin the actual data generation by clicking the Generate Report button. The report can be viewed either on screen or downloaded as a PDF or XLS file. The reporter is used to generate and define periodic reports, which can also, if needed, be run on a one-off basis outside of proposed definitions. Preparing the definition in the reporter begins by selecting the metric from which individual devices or platforms are added. Now let's create a new definition. When creating a new definition, the most important choice is in the format of the output itself, which will affect the capabilities and structure of the data. In this example, we're going to use CSV format. We'll set up the devices or platforms that are related to the report after setting up the necessary metrics, including the recipient settings and time planning mode. We'll be using IBM Power for this demo. In the next step, we have to choose required metrics, such as host and subsystem, for which we also determine the data sampling rate. Once the report is defined, it is possible to save and run immediately. The definition's homepage provides an overview of scheduled reports, which can be edited, cloned, deleted, or run directly as needed. The report is generated after being manually run and becomes available for download through the link or in the History section. The Groups section allows you to define recipient groups, which are then available as an option in the report definition. The Options section provides the ability to set up a delimiter for the CSV format. The History section contains an historical overview of all generated scheduled or manually run reports. They can be downloaded from here in the appropriate format in which the report was generated. Would you like to try both tools? Try them out with our demo. Do you need more information from our experts? You can arrange a consultation via WebEx session.